Hello students, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. In this session, I am going to tell you about popular dances of India and that forms the part of general knowledge. First to come here is Bharatnatyam. Bharatnatyam is a major genre of Indian classical dance that originated in the Hindu temples of Tamil Nadu and neighboring regions. Traditionally, Bharatnatyam has been a solo dance that was performed exclusively by women and expressed Hindu religious themes and spiritual ideas, particularly of Shaivism, Vaishnavism and Shaktism. The second to come is Kathak and it is one of the ten major forms of Indian classical dance. The origin of Kathak is traditionally attributed to the travelling bards of Indian Northern India. Known as Kathakars or storytellers, the term Kathak is derived from the Vedic Sanskrit word Katha meaning story and Kathaka in Sanskrit means he who tells a story or to do with stories. Wandering Kathakas communicated stories from the great epics and ancient mythology through dance, songs and music in a manner similar to early Greek theatre. Kathak evolved during the Bhakti movement, particularly by incorporating the childhood and stories of Hindu god Krishna as well as independently in the courts of North Indian kingdoms. The third to come is Kuchipuri. Um, Kuchipuri is the dance form of Andhra Pradesh. It is one of the ten major Indian classical dances. It originated in a village of Krishna district in modern Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. Kuchipuri is a dance drama performance art with its roots in the ancient Hindu Sanskrit text of Natya Shastra. Next to come is Kathakali. Kathakali is a dance form of Kerala and it is one of the major forms of classical Indian dance. It is another story play genre of art, but one distinguished by its elaborately colorful makeup, costume and face masks wearing actor dancers who have traditionally been all males. The next to come is Mohini Yattam. It is a semi-classical dance form of Kerala. It is performed by women. The word Mohini means a maiden who steals the heart of the onlooker. It is thought that Vaishnav devotees gave the name of Mohini Yattam to this dance form. Next to come here is Manipur dance. Now, it is a dance form of Manipur. Also known as Jagoi is one of the major Indian classical dance forms named after the region of its origin, Manipur, a state in northern India bordering with Myanmar, Assam, Nagaland and Mizoram. The next dance is Odissi. Odissi is a classical Indian dance that originated in Odisha, India. Odissi, also referred to as Orissi in Indian literature, is a major Indian classical dance that originated in the Hindu temples of Orissa on eastern co and eastern coastal state of India. Next here we have is Satriya. It is a dance form of Assam. It is a major Indian classical dance. It is a dance drama performance art with origins in the Krishna-centered Vaishnavism monasteries of Assam and attributed to the 15th century Bhakti movement scholar and saint named Srimanta Sankardev. Now next is Chow dance. Chow dance is a major classical Indian dance with origins in the Indian state of Jharkhand, West Bengal and Orissa. It is found in three styles named after the location where they are performed. That is Purulia Chow of Bengal, the Sirai Kela Chow of Jharkhand and the Mayur Ban Chow of Odisha. The dance ranges from celebrating martial arts, acrobatics and athletics performed in festive themes of a folk dance to a structured dance with religious themes found in Shaivism, Shaktism and Vaishnavism. And the last to come on the list is Ghumar. 
Ghumal is a traditional folk dance of Rajasthan, India and Sindh, Pakistan. The dance is chiefly performed by wheeled women who wear flowing dresses called Khagra. The dance typically in involves performers while moving and out of a wide circle. The word Ghuma describes the twirling movement of the dancers and is the basis of the word Ghumar. Ghumar is often performed on special occasions such as at weddings and during holy and sometimes last for hours. So these were the dancers, students and I hope you understood and you are on to brushing up your general knowledge. If you have subscribed to my channel, first class, if you haven't, do subscribe so that we can be together in the time to come. Thank you.